Good morning, good morning, good morning. Lisa here. This is Lisa 6 and 3, and here is God's strength for you and me this day. Our scripture reading is coming from 2 Peter 1, 16 through 18. It reads, For we did not follow cunningly devised fables when we made known to you the power of and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Mm. For he received from God the Father honor and glory when such a voice came to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And we heard this voice which came from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. Um, sometimes I wake up in the mornings and don't really have anything on my mind. But when I started going through the scriptures, I landed here on 2 Peter. And when I read this scripture, this stuck out to me. And, and I have this underlined, so obviously somebody preached from it from at some point. We were eyewitnesses. Mm, mm, mm. We were eyewitnesses of his majesty, of his power, of his glory. We were there when the excellent glory, which means God, told Jesus the majesty glory that he was pleased. He also said, we didn't follow cunningly fabled tales. We didn't listen to lies or made up stories about who Jesus was, who Jesus is, because Jesus isn't a was. He's not a past tense. He is a present tense. Ah, that's a good word right there. <laughs> Jesus is a present tense, who he is. I did not have to have someone tell me a story a fable, a made up story about who Jesus is. I saw it for myself. My grandmother used to tell me, live long enough, you'll see some things. And I can say today, I've lived long enough to see some things. And this is what the Holy Spirit says today. Don't believe anything other than what you know to be true. That's our strength today. Don't believe anything other than what you know to be true. You have been an eyewitness to the things God has done. You have been an eyewitness to the glory of our majesty, Jesus Christ. And God is able. He is able. You've seen him do it before. He can do it again. Don't allow anyone to cause you to doubt what you know to be true. Mm. That's a good word. Stand on what you know to be true, that God is able. Mm. This has been Lisa with Lisa 6 and 3. Y'all go make it a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow morning. Be blessed.